Today I'm going to show you two nail tutorials. Um, the first one is this one for your toes, uh, lime green and stripes. And the second one is this cute cow manicure. Um, so let's start with the stripes and the lime green first. First, you're going to paint your big toe and then one of your other toes white. And I use the same one as always, this Essie, and it's Blanc. Then you're gonna use a lime green nail polish. The one I used is by China Glaze. It's called um, I'm, I'm With the Lifeguard, it's called. So it's that color there. Um, again, two coats wait uh, two to five minutes in between each coat and then you're going to take some sort of tape I like to use one that has stripes on it just because it's really easy to create straight lines when you're cutting okay and just cut yourself off a piece okay so I'm just cutting about four or five strips off and then you're gonna place them on your nails however you like, wherever you would like the, the black to go. And space them however, however you like. I would like to make smaller, oh, that one's, there we go. I'd like to make smaller black stripes so I'm going to place them close together. There we go. And just do that until your whole nail is covered with striped pieces of tape. Okay, once you've got all your stripes put on, you're gonna take a black nail polish. This one is Essie licorice and you're just gonna paint over the whole nail and then let it dry I paint over the tape and everything and if you make a mistake you can go back later with a brush dipped in nail polish remover and wipe away any of the mistakes while you're waiting for the black to dry you're going to put the black rhinestones on the other white toenail. These ones come from a kit by Sally Hansen. It was $5 at Walmart and it comes with three different colors of rhinestones. Clear, black and gold. So I'm taking some of the black ones. I poured them into the lid from um, this plastic packaging. And I'm just going to take some tweezers. And pick one up and you're gonna put it on your nail while it's still tacky and if it has dried you can just take your one of your clear coats and just quickly put a clear coat on top and then starting at the bottom in the middle you're gonna place your first rhinestone and push it in with the tips of your tweezers until you're happy with where the placement is. Then you're just gonna take your next one and put it right in front of that one and keep working in, like that until you reach the top of your nail. Okay, once your rhinestones are on, seal them with a clear coat. This one is Mega Shine by Sally Hansen. And then your tape should be dry enough to peel off. So you're just gonna peel your stripes. After I untangle them. Just peel them off slowly. Okay, and you should end up with something that looks like that. 
Then you're going to take a silver glitter nail polish, and this one is set in stones by Essie. You don't want a whole lot on your brush, so really make sure you wipe it off on the sides. And then you're just gonna go only to the bottom half of your nail and dab the glitter on and sort of smear it around with your brush until you like the effect you're getting. Just like that. Now I'm taking the clear rhinestones from the same kit and I'm just going to apply them around the bottom. Wherever you like them, wherever you think they'll look um, really cool, you can just place them. I'm gonna put some around the bottom and then I'm gonna put some going up the sides. Just like that. And if they're not sticking, you can just put a clear coat on on those parts. Make sure you push them really good into your nail so that they stay and they don't fall off. Once you're happy with them and you're sure that your glitter nail polish is dried, you can just seal them with a clear coat. Okay, that's the final look for the toes. Should end up looking something like that. Okay, now we'll move on to the nails. You're gonna paint three of your nails white, and I'm just using the same SE white nail polish, and two of your nails pink. This one is Nicole by OPI, and it's the Carrie Underwood pink. It's called Color Me Country. Once that's done and dried, you're gonna take a black Sharpie. Um, it has to be Sharpie. I learned the hard way if you use um, a no-name brand, it will smear. So it has to be Sharpie and you need to let it dry when you're finished before you put a clear coat on it. You're just gonna draw cow spots, something that look like that. So wherever you like, and I just kinda freehand it, do whatever I think. Put them wherever you want, as many as you want. Just like that. And then do the same to the other nail. Once you're done with the Sharpie, make sure you really let it dry because it, it can smear if you don't let it dry completely before you put a clear coat on it. Also, if you happen to get any permanent marker on the side of your fingernail, um, just take an alcohol swab or dip a Q-tip in alcohol and just uh, wipe it alongside where you smeared and it'll come right off. I just cut three pieces of tape and I laid them across my nails so that you could see half of the white. Just make sure that you really press it down and crease in your nail beds so that it's really firmly in there. Then you're gonna take that same pink and paint that white part of your nails that's showing. And then wait for it to dry before you pull off the tape. I like to do two coats per nail. Okay, now you're gonna peel off the tape. And then we'll do the cow eyes and the spots on the white part while the paint continues to dry. So you're just going to make some eyes with your Sharpie. And I just dot it on until I get the size that I want. And then you're gonna make three black cow spots, one on each side of the eyes, and then one at the top. Now 
You probably will get black sharpie on your skin and I just use an alcohol swab again to get that off. And then do that to all three of your white nails. Once the pink is dry, you're just gonna take your Sharpie and make two little cow nostrils, just like that on all your nails, and then wait for it to dry, and then you're going to put a clear coat over top. Okay guys, that is the final look. Um, should look turn out to look something like that. I hope you guys like this video and that you use both of these nail ideas. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.